While XCP Designer provides a default data service for creating a claim, it can't do all that we need it to do. So in this section of the tutorial, we'll configure another stateless process that will create a claim and relate it to an existing policy and a vehicle. Each claim object will exist as a unique folder name in the repository. Therefore, we'll use the ID of the workflow as the name of the new repository folder under the concordant cabinet. Navigator, select the Processes tab. Click the green plus button to add a new process. For label, enter create claim and relate to a policy. Then check the box next to process can run in stateless mode. And click finish. Click the process properties toolbar button. Select the data tab. Select the packages node and then click the green add button. For name, enter pkg underscore claim and uncheck the this is a mandatory package checkbox and for type click the select button select claim and click finish on the left select the process variables node click the add button and for name enter v underscore amount and for type select float. Click the add button again and for name enter v underscore incident underscore date. For type select date time. Click the add button again and this time for name enter v underscore incident underscore location and we'll leave this type as string. Click add and for name, enter v underscore vehicle underscore in underscore motion. And be sure to change the type to Boolean and give it a default value of true. Click add again, and for name, enter v underscore vehicle underscore ID. This will be the ID of the vehicle from the claim vehicle relationship that we established earlier. Click add, and for name, enter v underscore policy underscore ID. This will be the ID of the policy from the claim policy relationship that we established in the last task. And click add again and for name enter v underscore cabinet. We we'll use this to copy the value from the param underscore default underscore location application parameter and we'll use it for the destination folder name. Click apply. Now let's click on the new composite service tab. Check all the boxes under Use as Input to make each of them appear as options in the Input Message Mapping section. And click OK. Now let's lay out the activities for this business process. Drag a Content Create activity next to Initiate. Drag a Content Set Process Data activity to the right of the Create activity. And select the flow lines toolbar button and draw the flow lines between each of the activities. And click the normal selector toolbar button to avoid accidentally drawing an unexpected flow line. Now let's make the layout a little prettier. Lasso all the activities, then right click and select alignment middle. Click anywhere in the white layout background to deselect everything. Double click the Create activity. Change the name to Create Claim. Then select the Folder Path option. We're going to use a string name for the destination folder instead of the object ID of the folder repository object. So this option tells XCP Designer the kind of treatment to give to the destination folder value during the process execution. So let's remember that this is a create activity. Create activities create artifacts. We want to configure this activity to create a claim model as opposed to one of the other object types that we've defined. So click the select button, select the claim model, and then click finish. Now click next to go to the input message mapping wizard page 
and let's map all the variables we've defined and copy them into the create activity parameters. Copy variables v underscore amount to create amount. Copy variables v underscore incident underscore date to create incident date. Copy variables v underscore incident underscore location to create incident location. Copy variables v underscore vehicle underscore in underscore motion to create vehicle in motion. Copy v underscore cabinet to create destination folder path. I should point out that while the application parameters are available, if we try to copy directly from the application parameters to the destination folder path, the destination folder path will be blank. It's for that reason that we added the v cabinet process variable that can be assigned a value from the application parameter from the inputs tab of the data service to transfer its value into the process. Now copy execution data workflow ID to create name. This will establish a unique repository folder name for the claim. Click next to advance to the output message mapping wizard page and then copy create ID to process data packages pkg underscore claim that's our claim package object ID click OK now let's configure the remaining package information we need to map the IDs of the vehicle and policy related to this claim to the relationships that we defined in the previous task so double click on the set process data activity to open its activity inspector wizard dialog. Change the activity's name to relate policy and vehicle to claim. Add a copy function and on the left for input map the variables v underscore policy underscore id process variable to the copy function. And on the right, navigate to and select process data, packages, pkg underscore claim, policy, that's the policy relationship, policy, the business object, and then object ID. This is how we're going to relate the policy and the claim together. Now let's do the same to relate the vehicle and the claim together add a copy function and on the left for input map the variables v underscore vehicle underscore id process variable to the copy function and on the right navigate to and select process data packages pkg underscore claim vehicle that's the relationship notice from the icon vehicle, the business object, then object ID. When I have crossing data mapping lines, I like to move them around so that anyone else who has to look at them after me can see what they need to quickly. Now we're done defining this activity, so click OK. And that does it for this stateless business process that will create a new instance for our claim folder under the concordant cabinet in the document and repository and update the relationships between the claim and its policy and vehicle business object instances. So let's close and save the artifact.